Hi, this is Karen from White Willow. I am just getting started on making some dill pickles. Actually, they're kind of more like a butter pickle. Um, I got a large bowl. I cut up about three to four onions in slices and about eight to 10 cucumbers in slices as well. So I did the spears. There's a busy road I live on. Yeah, it's a busy road. I cut them in spears. You can cut them in slices if you want to. I'm trying to get four quarts out of this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add one third cup salt to all of this, but I'm gonna put it in a little bigger bowl. Again, you don't wanna use iodized salt. Well, that was a little more than I wanted. Um, you wanna use sea salt or Himalayan salt or something non-iodized. Okay, so big bowl onions and cucumbers. Don't those look fantastic? Got one stuck in the bottom. Always a rebel. Okay, maybe that was me. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and stir these up a little bit. Get the onions kind of mixed in to gather with the cucumbers. It's a beautiful day outside. I like to be outside on my patio and I'm off on Mondays, so it's a good day for me to just enjoy canning and I'm gonna break these up a little bit. They're kind of stuck together. And the weather, um, I do have a pool, so I'm probably gonna go into swimming. I have to let this set for three hours in the salt and ice, crazy as that sounds. Okay, so we're gonna sprinkle this salt over this. I'm gonna stir it up again. Make sure your hands are clean. I'm kind of your triple gardener. I don't do a lot with gloves on. Not even peppers. I slice up jalapenos without my gloves on. Oh, I mean this in itself is delicious. But this is just uh, sweet onions and um, cucumbers. Now I did, because these are regular cucumbers, they're not pickling cucumbers, I did take the skin off. Not perfectly, I just kind of like shucked it off a little bit. And then um, because the, the skins are a little tougher on the regular cucumbers. Okay, so now here's ice. And I am just going to allow this to sit in ice. I'm gonna bring it inside for three hours. And then we will make the brine. And guess what? This one, you don't have to can. Nope. You just pour the hot brine into the hot jars and I'll put the jars in the microwave just to heat them up a little bit. But stuff them with the pickles that are going to be hot. There's a big old bus that just went by. Yeah, it's pretty crazy out here on the road. Um, so we're gonna just stuff the hot pickles into the hot jars and then we're gonna seal it and then we're gonna put a towel over it. I don't know if it's some magic trick or not. I don't know. I've never really done the towel thing. Another big truck. Um, at least it's my, not my dog's barking this time. Um, so we're gonna let the towels and then until they ping and then they're good to go. They don't need to be a uh, water bath. They don't need to be canned. They don't need anything. They just go ahead and seal in the jar. Once you put them from the pan into the hot jar and close them up, they're good to go. You have pickles then. I would, I would wait a month before you open them. But so that's the trick. Cucumbers, I think I did about 10. I sliced them into spears. I did three to four onions in here. I sliced them into half rings. Uh, third cup salt, stir it up. Put ice in it, stir it up. And let it set for three hours. And then we'll be back with the brine. So I am now draining the cucumbers. This is three hours later. Um, I did go for a swim, it was nice. So right now we're gonna make the brine. Um, we are gonna take three cups of red cider vinegar. We are gonna take five cups of sugar. I kind of pre-measured everything out here so I wouldn't bore you with that. So I'm just gonna stir this sugar and this vinegar in together and make sure it's pretty dissolved. We are gonna add a half a teaspoon of whole cloves. I know everything's backwards on here, sorry. 
Um, it is, it just is. And I'm really not a cloves fan. Um, I hate to say it, but I just don't like the taste of cloves. I think they're very strong. This is a half a teaspoon of celery seed. We're gonna go ahead and turn the heat up on this. We are going to do two teaspoons of turmeric. This is a half a teaspoon here. Um, I'm not gonna overpower it with the turmeric, so I'm gonna just do, I never measure anything exactly. If you notice my like teaspoon is like a little heaping. Um, so I'm just gonna put in the two teaspoons of turmeric. And then lastly, we are gonna do two tablespoons of mustard seed. This I like. Celery seed, mustard seed. Not too big of a fan of cloves, but it's just a hint. Just a hint of cloves. Okay, so we're gonna stir this up. We got the heat on. We are gonna wait till it dissolves really well. I want it to be nice and warm. Um, I'm gonna add the onions and the cucumbers as soon as they're done completely draining. I am also just gonna add a little bit of garlic. So I'm just taking the half teaspoon, maybe one teaspoon of garlic. I love garlic. I love onions. I love cucumbers. So this is a really good recipe because you don't have to water back. So the sugar is good and dissolved. I'm gonna change my my utensil here. Let me put down a little paper towel so I can set this on it. I'm gonna just take a, a spoon because we're gonna go ahead and start to put these into the mixture. And I know if I just turned this over and started pouring it in, um, yeah, I would dump it everywhere. So I'm going to spoon it so that I don't make that disastrous mess, which I've done a thousand times. These are all drained. I did not rinse them. You want that salt still to be a little bit on them. That's my microwave. The jars are in there getting all toasty. Okay, so we're just gonna stir this up and we're gonna bring it to a boil. I want all those flavors to get mixed up in the sauce and the cucumbers and the onions absorbing them well. Now the reason you want this boiling is because that's what's gonna seal it once it gets into the jar. Um, you're going to put this boiling product into the jar and then put the lid on right away before I even do the next one so that that one's starting to uh, seal before I pour the next one in and because you don't want even a second to allow it to cool. Okay, you can see it's boiling good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my funnel on here. I'm gonna try to get the cucumbers in here first as well as possible and the onions. Woo! You can see the little bit of yellow in there with the turmeric. And then I'm gonna add the juice. That is pretty fabulous. Uh, by the way, this this is the smell is, is pretty amazing. Yeah, Ooh, I just lost an onion. It hit the hit the burner. Okay. So this is in here. I'm now going to take the ladle and I'm gonna add the juice to it. Oops, I didn't mean to take my funnel off. A quick process you don't have a lot of time and you certainly don't want to um, risk it not sealing yeah yeah I know you see it I'm making a mess okay so while this one let me add a little more juice in there okay so while this, I'm waiting for these others to get filled, whoop, I'm gonna wipe the rim off. This is all a hot process, so it's, it's a little bit risky. Not risque, it's risky. Here we go. This is the first one. 
I'm going to turn that on, fingertip tight, and we're gonna go for the next one. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and do the, uh, the uh, cucumbers and onions first, and then I'll add the juice. I just wanna make sure of my measurement here and see, I, there's no way I'm getting four quarts out of this, maybe three. Maybe I should have picked a little bit more cucumbers up. But I... So that is it for our butter, uh, bread and butter pickles. Um, they, they have onions in them and they are absolutely so tasty. So you're gonna love this recipe. I am going to leave them here on the counter and I'm going to cover them. I really don't know what purpose this has. <laughs> But it's just like everything is always covered if you do this style of canning. So we're gonna wait to hear them ping. We should hear them ping. One thing I do as well is I save the brine in a jar because um, this will be great if I have pickles and onions just left over that I don't want to go bad. I can just throw them in the brine and um, it will be all great for just that evening for dinner. So as always, like, share, and subscribe to this channel, and thank you for watching White Willow.